I like to speak uh, in this video about uh, in octopus the second A, which is autonomy. Uh, take the job of a gatekeeper in a hospital. In hospitals, normally there are visiting hours. Let's say 10 to 12 in the uh, morning and then 4 to 6 in the evening. The gatekeeper's job is to make sure that the gates are open as it is time and allow people, visitors, uh, to enter uh, the gate only during uh, visiting hours and close the gate. And if somebody else comes outside the visiting hours, if there is an emergency, again open the gate. And some VIP comes again, uh, at least to direct the VIP to meet the hospital administrator and so on. So for a watchman, for a gatekeeper of a hospital, this is a very routine job. In one of the hospitals, they have given autonomy to the gatekeeper to decide outside office hours whom to allow to meet the patients and not to allow to meet the patients. Uh, earlier, he used to send the visitors, which normally happens to be VIPs, because it is the VIPs who normally come outside uh, the usual visiting hours and then try to exercise their own influence and so on. So the job of the gatekeeper used to be to take them to the hospital administrator. Now he has been given the autonomy, discretion to allow a visitor, a VIP visitor outside the office hours to go to the wards directly, need not go to the, because the hospital administrator felt a large part of uh, uh, his time is going in meeting visitors and allowing them to uh, outside, office, uh, outside the visiting hours. So they gave this, this, this particular discretion. And we discovered, I mean, this is just as an illustration, not only to gatekeepers, the nurses were given more autonomy in terms of certain ways of doing things. The technicians were given a lot of autonomy. And we found that this suddenly this particular hospital uh, uh, changed its entire culture and people started taking more interest in the jobs. They were more committed, they were more happy and uh, also started treating patients with a lot more respect and so on. Remarkable changes we found in this hospital. So that means if people have autonomy to do the jobs in the way they like to do, I'm not saying that you should give total autonomy. There are good manuals, there are good ways of uh, uh, standard operating procedures people should follow. But besides this, every job gives an opportunity for people to do things in their own way. So certain amount of freedom to do things differently or to do different things. So if you are spending all eight hours or 10 hours in a day exactly following what you are asked to do by a set of manuals and guidelines, you will find life as boring. You will find there is no meaning in life. You will get fatigued. You will lose commitment. And uh, that is the reason why in many organizations, employee engagement scores, employee commitment scores, when they work after about a year or two years, I think fall phenomenally down. Contrast with this, an organization is constantly inventing mechanisms to give autonomy to people. And if every person is told, there's not one way of doing things, there are many ways of doing things, you're free to experiment uh, as long as uh, your intentions are clear and you don't lose, you don't act beyond certain kind of uh, uh, boundaries, define the boundaries, give freedom for people to act, then you will have a totally committed and engaged kind of a workforce. That is the importance of autonomy in uh, octopus. Autonomy is giving certain amount of freedom in each job on a continuous way to be able to do things so that the individual who is occupying the job has a feeling that I make a difference, that I matter in determining certain parts of the job. If you can give 70% autonomy, nothing like that. But if you can't give 70% autonomy, give at least 30% autonomy. Here, percentage is only indicative. I think people like to feel significant. If they have to feel significant, they should get certain amount of autonomy in their jobs. That is why Octopus culture promotes certain amount of autonomy to be given to each individual and reviewed on a continuous kind of basis. All the best from Triviarless, create an autonomous culture in your organization so that people can take initiative and feel happy and more engaged 
Before King Valong Ganesh. 